Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Itesh and I'm back with another product modeling tutorial. So in this one, we are going to model this medicine bottle. And in this month, we're going to see a lot of product modeling in Maya. And uh, from the next month, we're going to go back to our usual type of videos. We'll go back to modeling some props and environment and maybe some characters. So without wasting any more time, let's start this video. So today we are going to model this one and I've imported my reference image in my front view and we're going to start with a cylinder. So I'm going to place this here, increase the radius, replace the shape, add some height. increase the subdivisions go back to edge mode and select this edge and bevel to create this curve shape add some segments and repeat the same thing here bevel turn down the fraction add some segments something like this Maybe a few more segments down here. So I'm going to go to ch channel box and in the poly bevel, I'm going to add a few more segments like this. And maybe in the first one as well. All right, so we are done with the basic shape. And now I'm going to select the top faces. And extrude them like this maybe a little bit more we need to add a segment here so i'm going to select all these faces grow the selection and extrude like this we can remove this edge here and we need to add one split and bevel i'm going to select these two pull these down delete these faces and uh, before extruding this part I'm going to extrude this whole thing to add some thickness. So extrude this and uh, go to mesh display, reverse the normals, and now we can extrude these faces. And uh, now we won't have the double faces inside this part, and we can. Go to edge mode, select these and we can delete. Now let's add supporting edges. So I'm going to go with bevel. You can also use multi-cut tool or insert edge loop tool. And for this part, I'll bevel, increase the fraction, add two segments. And I'm going to drag down this edge, maybe a little bit, like this. And use edit edge flow to bring these edges down as well. Now this looks much better. We can also add a couple of edge loops here to hold the shape.
and this looks good maybe one down here and uh, remove this now let's start with the cap of this bottle i'm going to go to front view and as you can see that we have this uh, thing here i'm going to take another cylinder pull this up or what we can do is we can come back here and maybe we can select this and duplicate faces modify center pivot and scale this down a little bit place this down here and let's extrude this to add some thickness and it's going to be very thin plastic so i think 0 0.01 should be enough or 0 0.02 And I'm going to select all the edges, bevel, turn the chamfer off, decrease the flexion, and see how it looks. All right, now we have to model the cap. So I'm going to take another cylinder, pull this up. change the radius and uh, subdivision access to something like this and the reason to add so many subdivisions is to create this carving like effect in the cap and i'm going to turn down the height to something like this maybe a little bit more and radius should be 1.4 and i'm going to add an edge split here then bevel like this i'm going to go to face mode and select all the faces extrude and turn off key faces together add a little bit of offset one more time little offset and then i'm going to extrude and add a little bit of thickness this much should be more than enough and let's start with the supporting edges i'm going to add one loop here and one up here one here to support the whole shape and i'm going to scale this and i'm going to repeat the same thing up here the reason why we scaled this now if we add any supporting edge here it's going to be just like this instead of that deformed topology now we have this grip here and i'm going to go to face mode select the top faces here add some offset intrude just a little bit and maybe we can 
go in the front view edge mode select this edge let's isolate this first so i'm going to delete all the faces down here select this edge extrude this part and go to front view and extrude inside like this Then I'm going to close this. Use merge edges to center. And now we can add some supporting edges here to hold the entire shape. Bevel, turn off chamfer. Same thing here. And we are done with this. Bring back the rest of your model. And our bottle is finished. Now you can create these two tablets like this. So I'm going to take a cylinder for that. Bring this out. Turn on round cap. Add some subdivisions like this rotate this create a duplicate place this here and now i'm going to go to outliner select this edit ungroup select everything go to edit delete by type history and start renaming So we are done with everything. I'm going to select everything again. Go to edit, delete by type history. And let's put them in a group now. Rename. Place them on the top of the grid. and now let's create the label so i'm going to select the faces on the bottle and the same as before i'm going to deselect some of these faces like this and uh, duplicate Now you can extrude it a little bit, give it some thickness so that it doesn't disappear with the mesh of this bottle. If you see some gap here, you can scale it down like this maybe not so much now let's create the materials for this i'm going to hide my reference and select these part and new material arnold standard surface i'm going to go to Edit delete by type history. Plastic white. 
go to presets go to plastic and replace i'm going to change the color something like this uh let's go to subsurface and also change the color of it maybe a little bit yellowish same thing goes for this new material on old stand surface you can either make it brown or any other color if you want i'm going to go to presets and let's select one of these presets here so you can either go with the plastic let's go with this thin plastic this time and see how it works so this is i think semi transparent and i'm going to apply the same material as the white plastic for these pills and i'm going to quickly take out our render and show you how it looks so this is the final render that came out so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching